Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create a portable company file that you can take with you on portable media or email to another for use. For example, if you wanted to email a copy of your company file to your accountant, you could send them a portable company file, which has a .qbm extension. When they open the file that you sent them, it will open the file and create a QuickBooks company file with a .qbw file extension from that data. If you make changes to the portable company file, note that you cannot import the changes to your original company file later without overwriting any changes made to the original company file. If you wish to still use the original copy while someone makes changes to another copy which you can import later, then use the Accountants Review feature instead. To make a portable company file, select File and choose the Create Copy command from the menu bar. In the window that appears, select the Option button for the Portable Company File and then click the Next button to continue. In the Save Portable Company File dialog box, choose where you want to save the portable copy of the company file and what you want to call it. When you're ready, click the Save button. Then click the OK button at the message box that tells you that QuickBooks must close and reopen the company file first. QuickBooks will then create the portable copy for you. Click OK in the message box that then appears. To later open a portable company file to create a new company file from that data that you can use, open QuickBooks and then select File and choose the Open or Restore Company command from the menu bar. In the window that appears, select the Restore a Portable File option button and then click the Next button to continue. In the Open Portable Company File dialog box that then appears, select the Portable Company File that you would like to open, and then click the Open button to return to the Open or Restore Company dialog box. Here you can read the information, and then click the Next button when you're ready to continue. In the Save Company File As dialog box that appears, you can then enter the name and location to which you want to save the company file that will be created from the portable company. When that's been accomplished, click the Save button to open the portable copy and create a new company file from that portable company copy data, which you can then use for data entry. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.